Hello, my name is Heidi. I read the narrative by Mary Rowlandson about her being captured by American Indians and her troubles throughout. Um, I found it very interesting right from the beginning where the Indians were shooting down her hometown and starting fires and murdering people left and right. And she even made a statement where she was standing in front of the door and the Indians were just like nonstop spraying the house with like bullets and she just somehow survived. So I was really intrigued to see that as the beginning as like she's almost like a Wonder Woman and just able to stand up to these Indians and then they capture her and her family goes in separate ways and she's just able to stay strong through it all just through her faith in God and reading her Bible regularly and throughout the whole narrative she's talking about different Bible verses and how God impacted her and God is giving her strength and it almost led me to think about that Professor Joel for the one of the paper topics he mentioned that it's almost unrealistic how much she talks about the Bible and how many quotes she does about from the Bible and I found it there were a couple times when the quotes from the Bible were just so spot on I was like how can she possibly think these things like right in the moment and when especially she's writing this back in the 1600s um so I do wonder if her editor did help her in some of the bible quotes because there's almost a hundred of them I feel and they're very spot on especially in the fifth remove she was talking about how her and the Indians were passing through the river and it was really cold and she couldn't imagine that she would really live through it and then she speaks on God and how in the Bible there's a specific quote in Isaiah that said when thou passeth through the waters I will be with thee and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee so I mean it seems that the Bible really gave her strength through it all um, but also I was just confused why why the Indians captured her I assume it was just because they wanted power over the Englishmen and how they almost gave her up from captivity pretty easily. She said in the in the narrative that she was only captured for about 12 weeks and then she was sold to her husband. But I wonder why they kept her in captivity for that long and were trying to keep her alive when they were really easily killing other people. I just didn't understand why they found so much interest in her. Um, but in the end, they did sell her and she she even went on to say that she just found more like strength within the captivity through her beliefs in God and then her like views kind of changed and she like was no longer sad but like more so taking this as a way of building herself and becoming closer with God and just being more spiritual and I found it really interesting. I I guess I didn't assume that people were this religious back then. Um, but also I found it really interesting that she was writing this as a woman back in that time. I feel like a lot of literature that we find back from the 1600s or the early 17 and 1800s honestly were a lot of males. Um, I could be wrong about that though. <laughs> but I did actually look up her name and she was the... She was the first published author and the first woman in America to have a published book. So I found that really cool. Um, but yeah, that was my take on it. I thought it was really long, honestly. <laughs> I felt like it was very repetitive when she was talking about her captivity. And I believe that it could have, be, could have been written in a much shorter story. But it wasn't my narrative. So, but yeah, that was my take on it. Hope you enjoy.